yes, here with Austin, who just threw out the first pitch. And obviously, as you mentioned, his father, Will, stationed over in Kuwait. What a huge moment for him. We're also going to have him talk to his father. As you guys mentioned, the commanding officer in the 35th Infantry Division. This is such a special moment, not only for Austin and Will, but for everyone around the world who is watching to be able to connect these two together. So, Austin, as we invite your dad on to the broadcast, give him a little bit of a play-by-play -play of how that first pitch went. Um, it, it went all right. Uh, I got it close to the plate, but uh, it didn't didn't go exactly as planned. It wanted it to be a strike, but eh, things happen. <laughs> I feel like that's a great description. You looked cool, calm, collected out there. I know that your father is going to be able to see that video later. You're going to send it to him, and it's really important that he was able to not only enjoy that moment, but for you guys to be able to celebrate that together. And listen, they're going to be watching the game live today. So for you, it kind of closes the gap because it's an eight-hour time difference. When you guys are both doing the same thing, Thing, though how special is that um it's really cool um i think uh, it's a lot of fun because um it's always weird because we've been able to talk a little bit while we've been on like the time difference it's very weird because i'll be doing things at 10 a.m and then he'll be like all right good night and i'm like wait what oh yeah you're all the way across the world <laughs> all right time for us to welcome major general william blaylock to the broadcast and major general how proud are you of your son and the fact that he no, threw out a really no. excellent first pitch. By 19, she would be retiring after 30 years. All right, we're going to try and reconnect in Kuwait, but Austin, as we just saw there from Albert Bosky, that shout out when you had your sixth birthday back in 2003. I mean, it was just an incredible moment, a way for Al to say happy birthday to you from your father, Will, overseas. What does that mean? That was actually crazy because I remember watching the game and then my mom was like, oh, yeah, just just watch this. And then I was like, what's going on? And then it says happy birthday, Austin. And I'm like, wait, he knows my name? Like, what's up with that? That's crazy. And then I then Perez hit a double and I was like, that's even more crazy because that was a good year for the Cardinals. And then for you to be able to connect with your dad about the Cardinals in general, just your fandom and what it means, you know, while he's overseas, that's pretty special. Um, it, it's really good because we get to talk about something that's not like his everyday job or something like that. It's not like, oh, how is everything today? It's like, oh, the Cardinals played today. Oh, they won. Or, man, this didn't go the way we really wanted it to, you know, but... Yeah, it was, it's always fun to talk about that. It's great talking about the Blues as well during the playoffs because we had a fun time with that, and we were like, man, the Blues are doing good. And then we played the Avs, and I was like, oh, oh well. If you, if you want to send a message to your father tonight, what would you like to say? Um, well, um, we all love you here. We, we're glad that you are uh, defending our freedoms and all that. Um, we do appreciate everything you do. We love you. Uh, the dog loves you. She misses you very dearly, Dad. Um, but, yeah, Ian loves you. Mom loves you. We all miss you and can't wait for you to come home soon. Austin, thank you as a family member for someone who is serving for your service as well. We really appreciate it. And for the Major General and the entire 35th Infantry Division over in Kuwait.